Hello guys, what if you need to make a database change in the data for deployment of some new feature? For example, changing some values if they are updated, for example, for language locales. So I recently published this tweet quoting Monica OpenCRM project and this tweet got really popular. So I decided to shoot this video to demonstrate how that works because you can do that in migrations. So migrations are not only for changing the schema, but you can also do whatever inside, including changing the data. But also Timo replied to that tweet with his own package called one time operations. So I will show you both in action. So as I mentioned in the up method of migrations, you can do whatever, like for example, do eloquent operations. So we try exactly that. We have users table with locales, kind of old locales, but what if they are renamed for whatever reason, or for example, other default values are renamed, whatever is the eloquent operation that shouldn't be rolled back. And by the way, of course, you can do that manually in the database, but it's not convenient to perform in all the databases, your server, staging servers, live servers, and for every developer on the team. It should be an operation that automatically runs on the new deployment and PHP Artisan Migrate is usually a part of the process of every deployment. So we run PHP Artisan Migrate. The new PHP Storm has autocomplete in the terminal. Cool, running migrations, completed. And if we refresh the database, we have new locales in the database. Good. So every other developer on your team would pull down the changes, run migrations, and see that in their own local databases as well. And that applies also to any staging server or live server when deploying the feature. But now I will re-migrate the data with new users to have the same locales as in the very beginning. So we're back to square one and now we will use the package. By the way, forgot to show you another example. So I saved another tweet when I did the same thing. So for example, what if you want to add a new field to the database and then update its value on some condition, for example, SQL query. So this is one of the examples. You can do that as well in the migrations. And now we'll link the article with that example in the description below. Now back to the package, one time operations. This is the GitHub repository, pretty popular with 400 stars. And you need to read the full readme to understand the purposes of that one time operations. It's mostly used for CI CD. So those operations act like a part of your deployment process. So these are the use cases like forget to execute one specific job or update specific data or process data in a migration file. The opinion of the package author that migration file for data is a big no-no, but I wouldn't be so strict. In our cases, it worked well over the years, so I don't see a big no-no here. Anyway, that's opinionated and a lot of things in Laravel are opinionated, but let's take a look at the package. So compose require migrations, and then you make an operation, which would be a part of your deployment process with running queue. So a lot of commands around operation, but basically you make an operation, which then lands in the operations folder. And then you have a few parameters, a few properties, and then process is the main method where you put the same operation. And then if you want to run that operation, you need to specify the queue when it would be executed. And let's try to run PHP Artisan operation process from the package and let's see what happens. Processing operations, processing finished. And we refresh the database and the data hasn't changed. And this is where the queue comes in. You need to run that in the queue. So now if we run PHP Artisan queue work, as you can see that job is processed, done. And now if we refresh the database, we have the new data updated. So you need to configure the queue for that operations to work. First, they are put into the queue and then whenever queue worker gets to that job, it gets actually executed. So yeah, two ways to basically execute SQL query or eloquent operation when you need it one time locally in migrations or in the queue with one time operations. What is your favorite? Which one did you use and why? Or maybe you would suggest alternative ways. Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.